Hello, my name is Clinton Eden. I am the designer for Panaga House, and this is 10 Questions Meet Spice TV. Um, I believe due to the, the very supportive act um, from my late dad, uh, who was very supportive of my decision um, in pursuing art and fashion, and um, he was always ready and um, was always there to support me. And, um, and also he was a great dad as well, and um, just growing up and realizing what he's done for the family and for myself as a man. And um, I realized that he's, uh, he's good enough and um, I'm proud of him. And um, I had to um, pay an homage to him by creating my name, the, the Fashion House Panaga, and also giving back to family and also giving back to where I, I came from. And that's um, Nigeria, Africa. So pretty much that's uh, the reason and um, towards the, just having the brand name Panaga. Honestly, I, I moved to South Africa to study and um, I, I, first of all, I was not going for a fashion course either. I was going for a business um, degree, which I completed a um, couple of years after, then I started fashion. Um, I kind of just needed to be away from Nigeria because I, I needed to find myself and also to find myself in the world of fashion and um, also just uh, being out of where you're from it gives you like a different perspective about life and how you you basically see fashion and how you produce fashion and now you kind of like choose your uh, um, aesthetic and your fabric choice so I believe just leaving Nigeria was um, because of all of that, I needed to expose myself, and um, I believe it was a good choice, so, yeah. Um, Panaga represent family. Uh, Panaga represent um, basically togetherness and um, just wearability. Uh, we tend to think about um, sexual um, inclusion in terms of like people who have um, fluid in the sexuality. We have people who, who think they can be open to different kind of style and um, cuts and um, colors and fashion. So Panaga um, kind of like we consist on just inclusion, trying to include everybody in terms of like the size and shape, the plus size models, the plus size people. So it's uh, inclusion of everyone who is out there. So it's basically for everybody. Well, I would say during the, the beginning of my brand, um, we're in South Africa and um, kind of the all African xenophobia thing was going on. And um, so I, I said to myself, if I ever have to create a collection or do anything that has to do with art, I will always try to represent myself and also try to create um, a concept from that idea of the whole um, equality and um, just like Black Life Matters, you know, All Life Matters and all that. So I always try to do that. And that also helped my brand grow as well when um, a very special stylist from the U.S., um, Brian Devon. Um, he did wear my clothes for an event in the U.S. and um, just like you know, giving doors for like African designers and like other creatives. I think that helped a lot, and um, so I always do that. I always include that um, diversity, and um, in terms of the brand being sustainable, um, I think there's a lot of waste in fashion and um, I believe in recycling, I believe in you know saving cost and um, that's why we do sustainable fabrics and materials and production just to avoid all that of pollution and we also think about animals so we try to save lives and save animals and um, pretty much that's about it. I 
I think I I wasn't in South Africa then. I was in the UK, and uh, one of his stylist friends called me and was like, "Hey, hey, bro, um, TJ, TJ is in town, and he would like to do a collaboration with you." Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Oh, sure, why not?" So um, that was great, you know, just to kind of like have a home base recognition. Um, I've, I've never really thought I, I had such um, recognition from back home. Um, I've just kind of like been busy with like the international side of market, like the European side and uh, the American side. And um, just all of that recognition kind of like brought me back again to my route. And um, I think that was like my acceptance time and I really appreciate that. That was really very great. Great experience. I wouldn't say uh, the designers here or the creatives here are lacking innovation. Um, I believe it's. Um, I believe innovation is very. It's a broad word, um, depending on your ideas as a creative. Um, I would say we lack access. Access to the global world. Access to like the mainstream and all of the fashion shows, just kind of like giving yourself a more understanding to like the history of fashion. But um, I've been to Lagos back and forth uh, now than ever. Uh, I believe there's a lot of creatives here and um, it's just pretty much the access. But um, Nigeria has a great team. Nigeria has a great creative system. And um, um, I think we hope for the, a better future. Yeah. I think we all kind of know that answer already, but um, I would say is um, it can be very fickle, it can be very fake. Um, that's why I would say I always want to have like a personal relationship with whoever I'm collaborating with, just to kind of like have an insight of who the person is and how he thinks and apart from the fashion side or the business side. But um, as you go along and you go to events and you meet people, of course you're going to meet real people and you're going to meet people who are just there for the motive and they're there for the business. So you have to be able to separate yourself from work friends and like um, friends you could be open to or be business minded to. And also people are very sensitive these days. I think we should try and keep up and be more less sensitive and try to sit back and just understand people from their own point of view and understanding, pretty much. I would say I do not have a, a personal or favorite list. I used to have a bunch of favorite lists from, for designers from Nigeria, but um, I, I would say I'm not much impressed lately, but um, I think Kenneth Eyes, Kenneth Aze, he's, um, he's very good. Um, we saw a couple of times in uh, Italy and then in, in Paris, I think, over fashion weeks and all that. But um, Kenneth Eyes is really good. Um, Orange Couture, and um, pretty much that's, yeah, that's really who I can really point a finger to right now and say, oh, these are great designers. And yeah, they kind of find a way to like cave or like create their own ways and like ideas and fashion. So I kind of applaud that. Well, honestly, I, my, my last collection, I was uh, in the Middle East during the, um, the football, um, the World Cup, and um, pretty much that's where the inspiration kind of like derived. I, so I have a, a working team, so I don't make my collection alone, so we'll have to have like a um, decision process. But um, just basically, um, I was inspired by the, the, the football community, the soccer community and the sport community. And um, I also thought, okay, if I should create something that is a bit commercial, that is also very 
health conscious. I mean, I have people going to the gym or people running and trying to keep their lifestyle a little bit more healthier. And also, I thought about the, the Super Ego, which is a very famous um, football club from where I'm coming from, Nigeria. So um, pretty much I gain inspiration from that as well. Um, you can see some of my logos are like bed oriented, ego oriented. So um, pretty much that was where my um, inspiration, um, inspiration came from, pretty much. Quite a lot of projects I'm working on at the moment, but um, I, I recently did a, um, a whole project with the Financial Times, the New York Financial Times, and um, I was just did the, the latest, um, what do you call it now, the print, which came out on the 1st of July, and um, we're doing another one. So pretty much a whole lot of projects um, that I can't really talk about due to like documentations and like um, procedures. But um, I have a lot of coming up. I have a lot of TVCs, a lot of prints coming up and um, pretty much just keep watching. You can check on, the, on our website and our social media page to have updates about all of it. Uh, my name is Clinton Eden. I am a designer and this is 10 questions with Spice TV.